What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So retired, former pound-for-pound -pound king, former five-division world champion, beat more world champions than anybody in the history of the sport of boxing, the man known as Money, retired Hall of Famer, 50 and 0, Floyd Money Mayweather, who holds all the pay-per-view records known to man and known to the sport of boxing, he weighs in on Olympic gold medalist, former two-time two, two -time unified heavyweight world champion British superstar boxer Anthony Joshua, taking a loss, another loss in his career, to now two-division world champion, former Olympic gold medalist himself, former undisputed cruiserweight turned unified heavyweight world champion, Ukrainian superstar boxer Oleksandr Usyk. Olesander Usyk, he beat Anthony Joshua via unanimous decision today. Uh, Olesander Usyk is now 19 wins, no losses, no draws, 13 wins by way of knockout. He is a two-division world champion. Anthony Joshua is now 24 wins, two losses, uh, no draws, and he has 22 big wins by way of knockout. Anthony Joshua is younger than Olesander Usyk. He's 31 years of age. Olesander Usyk is 34 years of age. So Anthony Joshua, he still has time to rectify and uh, bounce back. With that said, Floyd Miller, he weighed in and he just stated simply, you can't be perfect. You can't win them all. There's only one Floyd Mayweather. But Anthony Joshua has been there before, as he has been. Anthony Joshua, he lost uh, by stoppage to Andy Ruiz Jr. back in um, June of 2019. He was dropped four times. Uh, and ultimately stopped in the seventh round, okay? And he bounced back. He came back, and he was victorious in a media rematch that took place December of that year. And he regained his titles to become two-time unified heavyweight world champion. So Floyd Mayweather, he stated everybody can't beat Floyd Mayweather, okay? Now, there's other fighters. Joe Kawasaki, he retired undefeated. Uh, you also have... Uh, Rocky Marciano, obviously, he retired undefeated. So there's other fighters that retired undefeated, but nobody did it in a manner that Floyd Mayweather did it. He beat world champions, over 16 world champions, okay? He fought six, 13 straight or something of that magnitude, uh, back to back to back. So Floyd Mayweather, he dominated the sport of boxing. Not only did he do that, but he also broke every world record as far as pay-per-view goes, okay? And he made more money than anybody in the history of the sport of boxing. So in the manner Floyd Mayweather did but uh, did it uh, compared to the Joe Calzakis and the Rocky Marcianos, it's completely different, okay? He did it while, while soaring to the very height of the sport of boxing. So Anthony Joshua, heavyweight. A lot of heavyweights have uh, losses on their resume. For one, a legend, British legend, superstar iconic hall of famer in lennox lewis he was knocked out by i seen rockman he was locked knocked out by oliver mccall and lennox lewis he bounced back to beat oliver mccall and i seen rockman okay and so anthony joshua he lost to andy ruiz he bounced back he got the uh, uh he rectified that loss now more than likely depending upon how severe this eye injury is that eddie hearn matching ceo and promoter promoter Anthony Joshua, he stated that he believes it's a broken eye socket. So uh, we got to see just how, you know, uh, how uh, severe this injury is to his eye. And I'm sure we'll see a media rematch between Anthony Joshua and Olesander Usyk. Now, the problem with that is uh, Eddie Hearn, he stated, well, we don't have nowhere to hide. So we're going back right into uh, the den with Olesander Usyk. Okay. Um, stylistically stylistically is Usyk style a bad matchup for Anthony Joshua Olesander Usyk is a proved to me to be a great fighter okay I didn't like how Olesander Usyk looked at the heavyweight division but Olesander Usyk you know is a great cruiserweight okay great cruiserweight undisputed at cruiserweight uh most people have him pegged as the second greatest cruiserweight uh to only evander the real deal Holyfield who became undisputed at cruiserweight and nearly undisputed twice at heavyweight. The only reason he didn't become twice two-time undisputed heavyweight champion is because uh, 
his opponent, Riddick Big Daddy Bo, who was the undisputed champion after he defeated Evander Holyfield, he threw his WBC title in the trash. Uh, that famous um, photo of him throwing the belt in the trash in the, the video. And when they fought, Evander Holyfield beat Riddick Bo, but Riddick Bo didn't have all the belts for Evander Holyfield, so he just became unified again, okay, instead of becoming undisputed. So with that said, you know, um, Evander Holyfield, he would have been three-time undisputed world champion, okay? So that's why he's pegged as the greatest cruiserweight in history. So Alexander Usyk, he's an Olympic gold medalist, undisputed at cruiserweight, and he just became un unified at heavyweight. And again, when he fought Chaz Witherspoon, when he fought uh, Derek Sassora, I wasn't that impressed with Alexander Usyk. I was much more impressed with Alexander Usyk tonight against Anthony Joshua than I was with Alexander Usyk and uh, Derek Sassora and Chaz Witherspoon. Now, he did win both of those fights, obviously, but I wasn't truly impressed with his outing. But to, tonight against Anthony Joshua, you know, the movement, the, the durability, he kept up his stamina. He landed that left hand all night long. Uh, he just simply was outboxing Anthony Joshua. In the first three rounds, he won the fight. The first three rounds, he was winning the fight. Then Anthony Joshua came back in six, seven, eight, and uh, uh, no, excuse me, in um, four, five, and six, and he won those rounds. But then there was a seesaw battle where Anthony Joshua went around, Usyk went around. Joshua went around, Usyk went around, until we got to the championship rounds, and Usyk clearly won 11 and 12. Uh, and made a statement, especially in the 12th round when he had Joshua laying on the ropes, seemingly on the verge of being stopped in that 12th round, okay? If there was more time in the round, he may have stopped Anthony Joshua. And Anthony Joshua, you know, uh, was seen grimacing in uh, all types of pain in the corner. And uh, most people, you know, Eddie Hearn, he said it was due to the, the injury he suffered, the right eye. And that right eye injury, some people are now saying it was a headbutt, you know, uh, but... You know, uh, a lot of people feel like it's that left hand he was landing all night long, okay? His left hand is always going to land on what? Anthony Joshua's right eye, okay? Where, right, where Usyk's uh, uh, left right eye, excuse me, Usyk's left eye was showing uh, wear and tear, and he had a, a gash on over his right eye, over his left eye, excuse me, due to Anthony Joshua's right hand, okay? And so uh, Anthony Joshua, I was impressed because he made adjustments. He was in there with a great fighter, and he made adjustments. A lot of people said that Anthony Joshua was going in the fight against who was considered to be the greatest skill fighter he's ever faced. And that proved to be true because uh, Olesander Usyk, he started off fast, but he finished even stronger than he, than he started off. So the adjustments Anthony Joshua made, were uh, superseded by the adjustments Usyk made, okay? And the fact that Usyk stayed consistent throughout the fight. Now, there was times where Olesander Usyk looked very, very fatigued. Uh, there was times where he looked like he was on the verge of getting knocked out, okay? Uh, but he always bounced back. He always answered any rally Anthony Joshua had. Thus, the reason why he won a unanimous decision on all three judges' scorecards, okay? And so with that said, uh, is that style a bad style for Anthony Joshua because I believe Anthony Joshua has all the tools to beat Olesander Usyk. He just has to, um, you know, enforce his will when it comes to his jab, okay? Now, obviously, Olesander Usyk is quicker than Anthony Joshua, okay? Uh, he's lighter on his feet, and he's a southpaw. So uh, he was countering Anthony Joshua's jab with the overhand right and uh, uh, right hooks, okay? That was finding his uh, mark every time seemingly he threw it, okay? So that's something Anthony Joshua has to, you know, uh, uh, straighten out. But I didn't think that Anthony Joshua asserted his jab uh, as he should have in this fight, okay? Uh, he should have been able to control the distance and the pace. And I didn't like the fact that Anthony Joshua was, was steeping down too low, okay? He was sitting down too low and giving up his height, you know? Now, I know he didn't want to have uh, stand straight up and have his chin up in the air. So I believe that that was the game plan, you know, uh, so he didn't get hurt uh, many times with his chin up in the air. But he was just giving away too much when he was bending uh, bending too much at the knees and giving up his height, okay? So I believe that, you know, uh, Anthony Joshua can make adjustments. I believe that it's a winnable fight for Anthony Joshua in the rematch. He can rectify it. But, uh, you know, like Floyd Miller said, everybody can't be perfect. Everybody's not going to win every fight. And so this is the heavyweight division where 
Everybody had multiple losses. All the greats. Like I said, Lenny Lewis was knocked out twice, okay? By guys that weren't on his level, okay? Evander Holyfield, multiple losses on his resume. Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson. You name them, they have multiple losses on their resume. Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, okay? And so with that said, you know, um, you know, these are, you know, uh, uh, great heavyweights. This is a great time. And it's a, a chance for Anthony Joshua to create history. Now he can become a three-time unified world champion, okay, by beating Ola Sander Usyk. So, you know, his legacy and Usyk, you know, can solidify himself as, you know, uh, being one of the best heavyweights, you know, of this era, right? So there's a lot to be desired. Now there's obviously the big fight that's coming up in two weeks between uh, Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, the trilogy. Now, obviously, everybody's going to want to see the winner, Ola Sander Usyk, and Anthony Joshua before this fight even took place. Now we know Usyk is the champion. Everybody wanted to see the winner of that fight fight the winner of this fight. Now that's what everybody's going to be pushing for, especially if Anthony Joshua was injured and is going to be on the shelf. So we got to see how this unfolds and plays out. But Anthony Joshua, I definitely believe, can bounce back. And I definitely believe that this is a winnable fight for him. But in the same token, it's a winnable fight for Ola Sander Usyk. So let's see how this all unfolds and plays out. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share the videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Hey, this is Ebony Bridges, Blonde Bomber, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV.